All right, guys, welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to add the ball in our game using Kiwi. In this video, we are going to learn the movement mechanics inside a game. Basically, the logic behind moving an object inside our Pong game. And in our case, it's going to be a ball. So currently you can see that our ball is at position A with X and Y coordinates as 25, 50. The X coordinate is 25 and the Y coordinate is 50. And our goal is to move the ball to position Z whose coordinates are 75, 50. So according to the coordinates, you can see we are moving the ball currently only in the X direction. That is from left to right. But we can't directly add 25 to the X coordinate of our position A. Otherwise it will just look like the ball has teleported from A to Z. That is why we have to keep adding one pixel at a time or it can be even like two pixel or half a pixel. Just make sure that the amount of pixels that we are adding are constant and are small like one pixels or 1.5 pixels, something like that. This addition will make sure that the transition is smooth and it looks like the ball is actually moving instead of just being teleported. And we, if we keep adding pixels, our ball will eventually go from position C to position Z. C for cat, position C to position Z. And this happens because of our eyes. Our eyes are a very unique feature of our human body. Our eyes can't keep up with the speed at which we are changing the ball. So it looks like the ball is actually moving, but we are just changing the position of the ball. This is how actually videos are made in real life, even the video that you're looking at. But the technology behind it is a little bit different, but the main concepts are the same. Videos at the very core are just a bunch of images in which objects change their position gradually. Each of these images are known as frames. Similarly, you can think of our game as a bunch of images. Each image is moving the ball by one pixel. Now our game speed is dependent on how many images we can show in one second. And that is also known as frames per second or FPS. If you increase the FPS, the speed of the game will increase and vice versa. We'll be changing this FPS by something known as a clock method inside Kiwi, which we will be writing the code of soon, very soon. So, but if you, before that, here's the step by step plan of how we are going to write a code. So first thing we are going to do is we are going to write the clock method to define how quickly the game should run. And it will also call the update method. Second, we'll create the update method and this update method will run approximately 60 times in one second or 60 FPS, which we have already defined in the clock method. And then finally, this update function will call the move function, which we created in the last video. I know all this theory might be a little bit too much for you, but feel free to go through the video again if you didn't understand anything. But I'm sure that as we go on to coding, the theory which we just learned right now will become much more clear. All right, now that we have learned the theory, let's create our clock method and the update method as we have already created the move method over here in the last video. So what we are gonna do is first, we are gonna save this Pong game class inside a variable. So I'm just gonna create a variable of game and I'm gonna write Pong game over here and save it inside this variable. And then we can just create the clock method. So for that, we need to import something known as clock from Kiwi. So we're just gonna write from kiwi.clock import uh, with a capital C clock. And then we'll just come down below and we'll write clock dot and then we'll write something known as schedule update. So S-C-H E-D-U-L-E -E underscore interval. And then inside it, I'm just gonna call our update function. So this clock is supposed to do two things. First is gonna call the update function as we have discussed. And so the second thing is that it needs to define the FPS or the frames per second. So to call the update function, we haven't created it yet. The update function is going to be inside this Pong game class. And that is why we have saved it inside this variable of game. So I'm just gonna write game and then I'm gonna write update. And after we have created the update function over here, it won't uh, show us any errors as it is not even right now because it knows we are gonna create it later. And then it wants the FPS. So we're gonna write 1.0. So this needs to be in kind of a point or uh, like a float format. And then we're gonna write 60.0. So what this means is basically in one second, we want the 60 images to be shown. So we can, if you want to increase the speed of the game, then you can just increase this number 60 or you can decrease this number one, but I'll recommend increasing this number 60. So this basically means one in one second, 60 frames are being shown or 60 FPS is the speed of this game. If you want to increase this to 100, it will be 100 FPS. That is 100 frames will be shown in one second. And now we are over here, we are calling the update function, which we haven't created yet. So let's create that. So I'm just gonna remove this pass from over here and I'm gonna create a function of update and it's gonna take itself. And then secondly, it's gonna take this 
like seconds over here that is the FPS so I'm just gonna create a variable of dt and uh, this is basically like a function of time uh, if you have done any calculus you probably know that is just written as dt I'm just writing it for one and what we you can just call it anything else is just like time or something but anyways uh, and then I'm just gonna like write a comment so that you guys remember what it's for I'm just gonna write uh, moving the ball um, by calling the move function and other stuff which we'll discuss in the later videos all right so this is looking good uh, let's just format this properly all right so actually let me just remove this and add it somewhere over here update function all right so this is looking good and inside this I'm just gonna write now just write pass and we will create the inside stuff later so what will happen is first of all uh, it will go to this clock method over here and it will call this update function from over here and it will call it 60 times in a second so every second this function of update is going to be called 60 times and that is the meaning of 60 fps so anyways guys this is pretty much it for this video i know this the video had a lot of theory and a very little bit of coding but this was like very important for you guys to understand and make sure if you didn't understand anything just watch the video again and you can ask me in the comments or something or in the discussions where you want if you want more explanation about something but anyways guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to further work on animating our poll so i'll see you over there